Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Julii campaign on the original Rome Total War. Now, last time we uh, took Lugdunum and we fought Pontus off in a couple of locations down here. And now we are pressing forward towards them in the east. We are kind of wary, however, of these side chariots. Now, their defense and their armor isn't great, but they have got four hit points. So I'm hoping our archers can try and take them down. Like, their attack is just so huge, 16. Compare that to a general's bodyguard. It's more than a general's bodyguard, the eastern general's bodyguard. I think our guys with their experience will be a bit higher than that, though. Yeah, only just. Um, and they do have two hit points. So worst comes to worst, if they start shredding our troops, we're going to have to use these general's bodyguards to try and break them. Don't want to lose our guys. This guy's a popular hero as well. well he's a minion. Why is he a minion? Got an east. Uh, you can see uh, Easterner turncoat there. That's good. That means he's going to be getting bonus to fighting against eastern enemies, which Pontus is one of them. Uh, and a military tribune, which is awesome. How about Decimus? He's got a priest of Jupiter. Hmm. What if we give that to you? That means he's got them all, and then maybe give the turncoat slave back to you so he can get more retinue if he needs. I would like a I would like a, um, a surgeon here so that he can recover more troops from the battles. Cool. So I think we're in the end turn. Yeah, everywhere's building that we can build. Sardis is a bit unhappy, and apparently this guy's still here when he's not. So I'm hoping it won't crash when we press this end turn button. So let's see. Nope. I'm amazed that Brutii have not yet uh, taken by the Zoro. Let's get map information from Armenia. Okay, so it looks like all of that's Pontus then. Potentially we want to just focus on them before we declare war on the Seleucids. So if we wipe out Pontus, secure our eastern border with Armenia and go south, I'm honestly worth, it might even be worth taking an alliance with these guys. That looks like a minor city. It's a Seleucid large town. Where's their other one? Over here. Look, Parthia. Parthia, that looks like a minus, that looks like a town, yeah. So not growing their settlements very much out here in the east. Um, but Egypt should be should be the one that uh, is growing a lot. Now we have um, now we have more population than them but that's probably just because of the amount of territories we have compared to them. They only have uh, was it about 10? So we'll count them off as we go. Obviously they have Memphis and Alexandria here. Got one of a couple of rubbish ones out here. There's one here. I can't remember. And then I'm assuming they've got this whole coast. So Jerusalem, Antioch, all the big cities, which is good for us. Oh, Manius Julius. Oh, wow. You would have been a really good general. Honestly, it might be worth... Okay, that's done. I, I just don't want to train any troops yet because the Marian reforms might come in next turn. I know it's not our capital, but we did just build a huge city. So, Ariminum, what do we want to do here? Let's get... Let's get one of the, let's get the practice range upgraded, so we can start uh, training uh, archers. Are any of these right? Okay, they have a practice range in Patavium. We'll keep on going with that. They're nearly ready to upgrade to a huge city. I don't know what the Brutii are doing here. Don't attack me. Um, and then, so instead here we'll probably go hmm, go for the Legion barracks, or we could go for yeah, let's go for the Legion barracks. Let's get ready to upgrade all our troops. Yeah, we've done Patavium. Suggestica of Mines. Let's get the population growth. Carthage. Yeah, we're already finishing this temple to Jupiter off. Uh, that's going to bring corruption down to basically nothing. After that, I think we go for the arena to keep the uh, population in check. Athens, we went for more mines. Population isn't too happy here. Yeah, they can't even go to normal tax rate, so let's keep them happy. 
Uh, Thapsus. What do we want to do at Thapsus? Maybe the Forum? Cool. Uh, Larissa. Um, see what the, what will the highways do? Oh, that trade is, is literally negligible. That's a huge amount. Let's go for that. And that will allow us to uh, trade triremes as well. Roads. Uh, what do we want to do here? This is probably a trading area. That is bringing the corruption up with it though. That's a lot, nearly doubling. Um, let's go for the law with the Temple to Jupiter again. Uh, Halicarnassus. Halicarnassus, you can have... Mm, Rhodes ain't going to do much. You happy if we go like this? Yes, you are. Let's go for the port then if they're happy. Looked at them. And let's retrain the rest of these guys. Now, I am kind of wary of this. So, we might want to take that out before we go Impossible. north. It's going to take two turns though, so let's not do that. Gonna re I'm going to keep training a couple of Hastati. Just to bolster this defense force, just in case they attack. If they attack with that, we should beat it with one Hastati. If they attack with that, it's a different story. But I'm sure they will go after Elysia. Let's go for that fort. Let's do it. And get some barbarian mercenaries. That will probably... Let's send them back just to keep these guys from thinking they're hard enough to attack us. And we'll use them against the general's bodyguard if they uh, if they come, come down and attack us. This one's a bit worrying, but apart from that, we should be okay. Looks like this is the edge of Gaul. So once we've taken Elysia, we need to go back west and down to Lamonum, and then maybe to this one here. Or we'll get a ceasefire with them, because I don't really want to do that huge walk down to, L L um, what is this called? I can't remember. Numantia. It's a pretty big walk, and I can't really be bothered doing that. Um, it's probably not worthwhile for our troops either. We would probably want to take this one, this one, and then go against the Bretons. Um, they are blocking the way to the Germans, so Bretons first and then the Germans, I think. Although, yeah, going against Spain would be good. When we get the Marian reforms, I think we will send one legion this way. Uh, probably on ships down to this town and we'll go attack them. We also need to send just like a small force out here to these small towns. That's maybe what Manius can do, even though he is a good commander. Hmm. Maybe. I'm not sure. Right, over here, what do we want to do? Okay, that's two armies. Imperator. Hmm. Here's a chance for a draw out, though. Secrecy is assured. Imperator. Maybe not. Maybe we can't get close to the, we can't get close enough for the draw out. Sir. Honestly, I think we go for Nicomedia and hope they go for us. Hmm. Or we just go here and do a huge battle. I honestly think one of our armies can beat this. Maybe not this one though. It's weaker. Hmm. What have we got available? We've got some hop hoplites available, so... Sir. Yeah, Engage let's do that. Can't quite get the draw Seven out, so I'm sir. honest. I, I think they'll sir. attack us. So Engage the enemy. we'll go for the attack Seven here, sir. and then they'll probably come around and attack us. We might be able to get rid of this army first. Their cavalry, apart from their... Um, yeah, they've got some barbarian cav. That, apart from the scythe chariots, is uh, is okay. How many men do these? They only have 18. So, so I mean, they have 18. Yeah, it looks like there's only one on each one. So they got 18 chariots in each. Just those four hit points are so dangerous. Ah, this might be the wrong army to have taken this way. Could have swapped them around. Bibius is still commanding here. It's not what I want. We could just leave him behind at Nicomedia though. But his general's bodyguard is valuable. Now these guys... I think we'll send them back to... 
Ariminium. So as soon as we have legions, we can start sending the legions forth. Set sail. Out of move, sir. Uh, you come here. Cool. Now, spy. Yeah, sewer. Oh my days. Looks like the whole faction's in here. We are still at war. Yeah, we're not going to be able to take that. Let's just keep on moving towards uh, Alexandria. I'm surprised they haven't come for a ceasefire yet when they're so uh, poor and rubbish. Idonia, Rhodes, Sardis, Pergamon. Looking good over here. Looking good. And any of these become a large city yet? No. How far off are they? Sparta's doing alright. Larissa's the closest. Thermon's about to become a city. So awesome. Pergamum and Sardis. Yeah, cool. Doing good. We need to get into the uh, the large cities over here. Yeah, Alexandria's a large city. Awesome. Uh, now, what are we doing up here? Looks like we're all moved for this turn. What are the Bruti I doing? They've been stood there with Cornelius Brutus for a long, long time. Honestly, should just siege that and try and uh, starve them out rather than do anything else. So, let's see what happens here and I'm sure we'll be fighting a big battle against the Pontus. Let's see. Okay, Bruti is just moving more. Yeah, there we are. The, the uh, strength ratio is about 1 to 1. And Lentilus Gracchus is now a really good general. This man is a tower of strength on the battlefield. He has the inspiring look of eagles about him. So, Scythe Chariots, we've got to deal with that. Our infantry should be able to hold their own against it. We might lose one or two of these guys. These Eastern infantry are absolute garbage. We should just cut through them with both our horses and our, uh, uh, and our infantry. But then, this second army, is basically trash again so we'll see it's gonna be the standard kill the general hope they have a mass route sort of job but either that or hope that the uh, side chariots go berserk and go mental Today on their troops let's listen to die, but better still to live and tell our grandchildren as yet unborn of brave Romans who fought well the repulsive loutish rulers of Pontus have sent their army to oppose us. Look at them all. They are very, very dangerous. The enemy are numerous, it is true. But those very numbers make the risk to them greater. A full quarter of their warriors face us. Let us crush them and drive a stake through the heart of our foe. Let your watchword be victory. Here we stand, here we wait. Let them come to us. We are outnumbered, but that only means the foe was scared to come at us fairly, with honor. Our horsemen must be careful today, as they face many spearmen. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. The seer can offer no guidance for this day. So we must grasp our own fates and make what we will of them with an iron purpose. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth and let this be one more. March on and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Okay, pretty long, but it's fine. Starty. Now, cavalry, we want to group them here, just to get you nicely arranged. Actually, that's perfect. And hoplites. There we are. Um, all these guys, you can fire at will. Oh yeah, cavalry. Yeah, maybe we... Honestly... Do this, and then... Gonna have two groups of cavalry this time. You're gonna be on the right. You're on the right of the uh, of the unit cards here, and you're gonna be on the left. You're on the left of the unit cards. Cool. Oh Jesus! It looks so big, but it's, it's just pure trash, really. I'm hoping anyway. Yeah, just... 
These guys will shred our cavalry, so we want to be kind of defensive with our cavalry to start with. So... Let's come forward. And when they uh, when they come through, we'll use the hoplites to smash them. Okay, they've got Barbarian Cavalry and Pontic Light Cavalry. I hate those guys. So it looks like my CPU can handle there being three full stacks on the uh, on the battle, which is good. They've got more side chariots here. I forgot about that. That's their general. Ah, that's why. At least this general's not a uh, side chariot. Now they're going to try and flank us here. So, to do that. You guys don't worry about that too much. Kind of need to get in there though now. So let's go. Now we've got to use our cavalry very cleverly here. Who goes after those guys? Who goes after these side chariots? Let's kill those Parthian mercenaries. Um, who is that? Okay, barbarian cavalry can charge you. Oh my days! No, don't don't route, don't route. Go after these guys. Okay, they're routing as well. These chariots. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get after them. See what we can do because they're treading out and starting right now. Yeah they've gone, they've gone. Let's get out there quick. Those are light cavalry. Mass route going on here. Now this first army isn't the one we need to worry about killing. However it would be nice. You guys all go after this general. Now Princapes and Hastati. Let's get back. back to here. You two, let's charge these guys. Get out of their archers. Equites are dying against someone. Who are you dying against? Oh, it's the Eastern General because the other guys haven't caught up yet. Now the army's in the army. Now they're going to be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's heart. They should be, they should be routing yet. Yeah. They're all going to start coming back. Not ideal. Now Hoplites, we might actually get you in front of the lines, um, get off that and run. Right, you guys, no, you come back. Right, these cavalry, let's get into these guys, Hillman should be easy. And we've lost a lot of cavalry on this with these guys, let's get all the way back, all the way let's come. Come, 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 quick. And now, you guys. Let's get you this side. Slingers, over here. Can't see the other army because it's up the hill. And archers. Just come here. Now, hoplites. Let's come this way. Come behind here again. We are very thin now. Not ideal. Oh, God. Pontic Light Cavalry, get rid of them. Should smash them, yeah. Unit routes, Prinker Bays. Yeah, that was a unit of like six Prinker Bays. This cavalry on the left is really weak, so we're going to have to rely on the right. These guys don't like them. Oh, yeah, they've started routing now. Good, good, good. Now just uh, shoot at what you want. Okay. This is tight. This is a tight situation. They've also got hoplites. <laughs> so, let's make the army a bit thinner. And let's get the hoplites in behind directly. And they can all uh, use pikes. You guys get in there. Um, uh, this cavalry, we're gonna have to send one Equites across to this side, I think, to bolster their side, to bolster their forces. So these guys, let's do that. 
actually let's do that and we'll do this again. Hmm. This is tough, this is going to be a tough battle I think. It's going to rely on routing them. Yeah, you guys come down here. Run please. Just so I can see my lines. Right there, new general. Is it an actual general or is it literally just a side chariot um, unit? I just really don't want them breaking my guys. Because we could get a mass route going. They are all eager, which is good. These Eastern Infantry are trash. We should be able to break them quite easily. Now Phalanx Pikemen are a little bit better. So that's going to rely on a charge from behind. Now, in terms of this army's cavalry, they only seem to have some of these Pontic Light Cavalry, which are the most annoying things in the world, but we should be able to outmaneuver them, start doing a few charges from the, from the back. We'll uh, angle this way. I'm going to keep them reasonably thick, just because if the, uh, if the chariots come in again, they're going to smash, and we need some big units, therefore, uh, to deal with it. Right, you guys go over there. You guys go over this way. Now, how much have we lost? We lost 23%. It's actually less than I thought. Uh, bring the archer guys right to the back. Okay, because I've done that with the cavalry, they're going to worry about it. But you go all the way to the back. Now, if they engage me with their scythe chariots, um, my cavalry, we will charge them. But I don't want to have to do that. How are you guys? Your guys are all fresh. So, not too bad. Okay, the scythe chariots look like they might be going in for the kill. Let's see, are all you guys on fire at will? Yeah, you are. Get out, get out, get out. Get out. Why are you walking? Go. Okay, it looks like they're going to join up anyway. What's going on over here? The side chariots don't know what to do. And one of the units already started routing. Okay, these guys are charging in, that's why. Now, Hoplites, you need to come through. Kill these guys. It's your only job. Put those down and run. Put those down and run and you can bring your pikes up in a bit. Yeah, I start here going. We need to get back in there. Hmm. Not an ideal situation this. Chariots. Yeah, kill the chariots. Uh, how are the hoplites doing? Put your phalanx back down. Once a few of them have ki been killed, they should break. We need to get back close to the action. Right, come back this way. They're breaking just from touching our, uh, our men, actually. Right, good. The side chariots are dead. New hoplites now kill these guys. Everyone else is breaking. It's probably because it's just Eastern infantry, which is just crap. We'll charge into these guys. Now this side... God, this is a mess of a battle. And I have handled it not great, but I mean... So we've only lost 35% against two large armies. Now these guys, I want to wipe them out. I don't... Um, who's not broken? It's these guys, they only... Well, there's a few people. They seem to be coming back. So... Uh, the chariots have gone mental, um, so that's good for us. No, you're, no, don't attack them. Now Astarte. Okay, now we'll use the. Uh, we'll use the. Right, you can come out this way to chase down people over here. You two, you're gonna have to run down the rest of them. Only frightened rabbits running from our men. You guys um, need one of you over here to run down some of these guys. 
you can come and run down these guys, and the general you can run down these guys and continue. Now we need to ignore the uh, side chariots somehow. Okay, you just go for a detour over here. You go kill these guys. Um, and you can go after these eastern mercenaries. There's a lot of people over here actually. Maybe send these equites over. Um, yeah, we need to get above 85. We're on 83 of both armies, so I'm assuming that must mean we're more than 85 on this one. But it looks like there's quite a few bloody troops about. Okay, they're getting shot by the archers, so we'll ignore that. We don't want to get shot by our own men. Anyone getting killed by the side chariots? I hope not. No, we need to start running. No, they're still there. Just come away. I'm hoping they are. Uh, you might have to fire your your things into them. The problem is they just can't seem to get any attacks on these guys because they just run through them. Uh, you're still going after these. You can come up here. Who do we want to kill now? Okay, you need to get up here before they get away. You need to get up here. Both of these guys have stopped. You've stopped. Um, let's go after these. I just want to kill everyone we can here, just to make sure that we aren't missing out. Kill these guys. Um, where was that? These guys. Okay. You can come and kill these guys. Okay. It's a lot easier to see everything up here because of the uh, camera angle. Um, bring you to a cross. So this has start. This equites took a lot of damage. I think we lost one of the equites um, to the battle, but actually some of them stayed quite intact. Now our princopes are bloody. Like they're very damaged. Now, the thing is though, I'm hoping this was basically most of their army. Said it was a full quarter of all their troops. I wouldn't be surprised, they, they shouldn't be able to put together an army this big for a long time. Well, two, two armies this big. And we've shown that our troops can handle fighting a whole two of them stacked full of these rubbish Eastern infantry, even with their scythe chariots. So. We should be okay to just keep on moving with this army and hopefully retrain it. Now, it might not actually be a bad thing in the long run because Marian reforms should be soon and when we get them we won't be able to retrain them anyway. So these guys not being able to be retrained here might not be an actual issue. I think that's we're all done. How much does it say we killed? 97. I think a lot of the people from the first army came back. So yeah. We deployed a thousand and we killed three thousand. Well, nearly three thousand. And they killed, yeah, about four hundred and forty. Yeah, a lot of experience gained. Both our generals gained two experience, which is awesome. Um, and then healed. Fifty Princopes healed in this unit. That's all. I think they were probably the guys that got charged straight away by the uh, by the chariots and then ran um, how about these equites yeah they these guys are probably dead they lost 48 men no heals that's okay we'll have to train some more or we'll have to train some Roman cavalry when we can should be able to move oh did we not yeah I was gonna say we should be able to move into there um, it's a town let's enslave it because it doesn't look too happy yes that's Egypt. What are you doing over here, Egypt? Bring the spy forward. Mazaka. Moving. So yeah, Mazaka's got only five troops. Lentilus Gracchus has now a superior commander, an exotic slave, which is influence, which is great, and a spice merchant. Ten percent on all trade income. That's not ideal for him, because he's a commander, not a. Uh, not a manager, but he's got a lot of uh, influence now, a lot of command now, which is awesome. Military Tribune, 
Awesome. So, yeah. We're, we're looking okay, actually, here. So, try to Jupiter. Yeah. Can we, we can hire one of these guys. Now, would the public order be stable if we just left and we maybe need one guy? Yeah, it would. So, it doesn't look like there's any other armies around here. So, let's go straight for Mazaka. Let's just keep up a relentless chase of them. Relentlessly destroy them. End of turn report. Making a lot of money. Unit recruitment has started. Enemy army routes. Lentilus Gracchus. Good. Big battle was done here. And the other guys that we're moving. The guys move along the coast. Welcome to drop sail. you off here. No more move, sir. Yeah, it looks only very much like they've got a Pharaoh's Guard. They are reasonable, these guys. But they haven't even got excellent morale, so we should be able to break them pretty easily. That's still a large city. I'd love to know. We need another spy down here, really. Yeah, let's Moving. get across there. No more moves, don't need to worry about the Numidians, really. They don't seem to want to do anything. I say that, but I bet now they're going to want to do something. Okay, they seem to be bringing all their troops around here. Sir. Herius the Great, you are now going to be sieging the capital of the Gauls, Elysia. He's literally, his only traits are military ones. He has no other traits. He's literally a man, pure military. Now, I'm hoping if they put some of their forces together here, they could have something that they would consider strong enough to beat us. So, yeah, they've got chosen swordsmen and nobles in here as well. Looks like, yeah, they can recruit them here. So they've got some good recruiting stuff here. It might be a minor city then. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping they'll come and attack us rather than us have to assault it. But if we have to assault it, that's fine. We'll just use our peeler to um, the best extent we can. Yeah, keep on training Hastati here, just in case they come and attack. I think two Hastati and a Barbarian Mercenaries, uh, would they be able to beat these guys? Mm, not necessarily. It would depend on us killing their general. Right, let's do some construction. And then I think we're going to save this battle till next time and we will go and smash them. Or we could just auto-resolve it. How much is it looking like on the auto-resolve? 20 to 1. Oh no! Victory! I stopped doing that. It was literally two running. Eastern infantry, which are absolutely awful. And they killed 172 of my men. Probably because it's cavalry in there. Uh, those poor archers. Look at those Prinkapes now. There's only three of them left. Well, that wasn't ideal. Can't even recruit a garrison here. Can recruit a garrison here though, or we'll send one across. How long will that take? There are some rebels around here, so we want to be kind of careful. Quicker from here? Yeah, it looks like it. Ah! Uh, looks like there was rebels. We know where they are now though. Um, right, also there could be some um, mercenaries here. Yeah, there's loads. Well, seeing as that was such a bad result for us, let's get out. Um, let's move forward. Just use Amulius here to get some mercenaries. Uh, take some of these Peltas. I think they've got the lowest upkeep. No. Oh, these guys, Thracians, actually have. Take you guys. Will you be happy? Yes. Cool. We'll send this army around here. Now I'm pretty sure there's a settlement about here. I think. Or is it further up? I know there's one up here somewhere. Um, so we should be taking their settlements at rapid pace. Which is awesome. Yeah. They might go and kill those peasants but that doesn't matter. Alright, let's do the construction. So gutted about these equites. Uh, let's do the construction and then let's end uh, the video here. So let's just see what we're going to build. 
Let's see what we've got. Aretium. We just built blacksmith. So let's carry on with that chain so that our cohorts can be pretty well upgraded by the time we get here. Now, we could go down the practice range chain. Uh, we're only a large town, though. I was going to say, that'd be good for us making um, archers. But let's get these guys a bit of population. Still slavery down here, which is good. <laughs> that sounds, ter sounds terrible <laughs> when you say it out loud. But it's making the population grow. <laughs> In Minecraft, okay. Um, Carolus. Um, all you, I want you for is money, really. And you are making an absolute shit ton. That's a huge amount of trade. Is, it the, is there corruption? There is about 100 corruption. Or half the corruption. That, that's, that's awesome. Uh, actually, while we're at it, I actually want to just check... Does it think that this... Yeah, this guy's not governing here anymore. Apparently he was governing there before, but not anymore. So let's get the uh, health. Um, let's carry on going down the list. Yeah, old building. Um, Palmer. Roads aren't going to do anything. Honestly, just do this. Get everything there. It's not a huge... Um, uh, a huge issue now. Where's Serta? Oh, it's this this one over here. Let's get the ship right. Want some more trade. Um, Thermon? It could be all manner of things here. Do you have corruption? You do. Yeah, that's going to reduce corruption by a little bit. Um, let's see. Kydonia. You've actually upgraded now, which is awesome. Lepsis Magna. Narby Martius. And that's it. Oh. Who was the guy with the red face at the bottom? And Kira. Yeah. Well, we know why that is. Now, can we recruit anyone from here to kind of bolster our forces? Yeah, we can. Now, honestly, I'm thinking of recruiting an archer to send up. To merge into those two units. And here, and we need Prinkapes, really, but... This looks like it's that's a city. It's a minor city. So yes, we should be able to retrain from there. But that looks like it's everything for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. And please remember to subscribe, like, and follow me on Twitch, where you can catch me gaming every single day live. So thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again on the next video.